Hey guys, welcome back to Salt Sanctuary. As you can probably tell in last episode, I was getting a little frustrated there at the end, but I try not to let things get me down. I try to you know, stick to it, power through. Uh, there were a couple items that I grabbed off camera, so I was going to go over those right now. I grabbed this and the Watching Woods, which increases willpower, which of course is extra stamina. And I also grabbed the Mossy Charm, which increases attack speed. I'm not going to use it right now, but I'll probably use it later. As I'm sure you noticed, we, or I guess, I uh, did an attempt on the next boss we are going to fight, and I got wrecked. So hopefully things will go a little bit better <coughs> this time around. Okay, so we're going to head out this way. And there's a door here that we needed the Mad Alchemist's key to open. <coughs> going to jump down here. And there's some guys that are spawn right here. They were pretty dangerous, but I think about Paladin really should protect us. Oh, there's another one. Okay. These guys are called Wretch Feeders. Oh, there's another one. Maybe he'll just leave us alone. Okay. I'm gonna head over here. I'm not really sure why you would want to use this elevator. I guess it does go straight to the boss down there, but I don't know why you'd use it to go back up. It seems like a silly idea to me. Because you'd want to come in from the right. Oh, no. Okay. How are we going to kill you? Like that, okay. <clears throat> if you go through here, there's uh, a Warhammer, which does a lot of damage, but we don't use we don't need it. It's just so the mini ambush, yep. <clears throat> uh, up there's where we're going to go next, but we need to defeat the boss first. So we're going to keep heading over this way. secret door here. These messages will probably tell you. Yep. I don't remember what's over here exactly, but we're going to grab it. Okay, Stone Merchant's pretty good. And I think there's something up here as well. Okay, I think there's poison. Oh no, this is where we need to go next, but we're not going to go through it. Going to need our vessel, because there's a sanctuary right here. Video. I guess I'll find out later. Okay, so we're gonna jump over here, and I think there's something over here. What is this? Oh, it's a ring. Okay, that's for magic users. We don't really care about that. I'm surprised this guy doesn't come to life. You can actually, if you jump on those for one frame like that, or whatever it is, they don't just don't collapse. Okay, so there's a prayer here that we want. I need to go looking for it. <clears throat> I did write down where it is. Hopefully, I should remember. Get all the way past this guy. There are a bunch of these things that are going to spawn. We're going to try to run past a lot of them. Those guys up there with the hobbles, they can really protect enemies. Like if I hit this, like if I try to hit the, that guy, I can't hit him. So either I need to lure him away or kill the, the hobble dude. Oh, can okay, we all the way over here? Dang. Okay, here we go. Now we can just jump up here. Uh, dang it. Come on. Spears aren't very good for it there. Oh, he's looking up at one of the guys up there. Okay, well. Oh. Let's just ignore him. Hmm, the body's changed. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't realize they would do that. <clears throat> so there's Blessed Weapon, which we're going to use. But first, we're going to keep it at that. There's an item over here we want as well. There might not be. <clears throat> you just cannot hurt them at all. Oh, goodness. It's a lot worse when the enemies are real tough, but these guys, these guys aren't that bad. Okay. <clears throat> okay, this goes to the red hall of cages. These guys are kind of annoying. Okay, I 
like a stack. Those guys do quite a lot of damage if you're not prepared. <clears throat> There's an elevator over there to the right uh, that takes a really long time to go up and down, but we haven't activated it yet. Okay. I think I'm just going to bell of return to save some time. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go down here. We're going to equip a blessed weapon. I'll take a quick moment to talk about magic. As you'll see right there, we have 65 focus. We use blessed weapon. Okay, it looks about the same as the as the blessed page. You'll see our maximum focus went down and so did our maximum stamina. We do have a ring that will lock our maximum stamina so that we don't completely run out, which I believe is this one. Oh no, it's this one. But we're probably not going to spam enough spells for that to matter right now, but hey, it's better than nothing, so I'll equip it. This also uh, reduces how much stamina we lose when we use a spell. So let's see how much did we lose right there. We, lo we lost eight, so if we equip this... Okay, okay, it just does automatically. Okay, I thought we needed to cast again. So we lost eight there, but now we'll only lose four. So I'll keep our stamina up, more casting spells. <clears throat> I don't know if this scales with your wisdom, so I'm kind of curious to try that out. I'm hoping that it does, so let's give it, let's give it a try. Let's find one of these dudes over here. I should probably go down here. Can I still have to unequip the weapon? Does that make it go away? Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I do just 22. Okay, I thought I did 22 already. Oh, goodness. That was, that was close. Okay, I thought I did... No. Okay, I did... What? Temporarily less adding holy damage. Okay. Let's try it again. So I did him for like 23? I thought I'd... Hmm. <clears throat> I'm doing the same amount of damage. Huh. That's interesting. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let me check the wiki. Maybe they're like resistant to holy or something. But that would not make a lot of sense to me, but hey, maybe. So according to the wiki, they are they are decently resistant to holy. So we'll keep this black pearl. Oh, we have two. Okay, so we'll hold on to these and we'll uh, give them a try. Okay, we also get an energy potion there, which uh, we'll, we'll not get that right now, but we could. So yeah, we're gonna level up some wisdom uh, in a little bit here, just so we can see. Oh, we can go up here or we can go this way. I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's grab this, grab this endurance, and we'll, uh, we'll we'll test out we'll test out blessed weapon and some of the other prayers we get uh, in a little while. But for now, let's just go down here and focus on the boss. I'm gonna hope we can run away from all of the wretch feeders, and they don't aggro during the or they don't come over to us when we fight the boss. Ow! Drop down here. I think there's something in here we want. Oh no, this is just a shortcut that we haven't opened yet. Stab through the door just in case. Okay. okay, so now we came in from the right side for this boss. So let's. So what's this say? Keep killing crack. <laughs> okay, sure. Oh, I get it. It's the KKK. Nice. Okay. So we're gonna try this poking. See how much damage we do. Oh, 
Oh, we could test to see if the mossy charm or how much of a difference this makes. But I think we just want more damage. I don't think attacking faster is going to be that great for this boss. <coughs> so let's give it another shot. I'm just going to try to keep blessed weapon on as much as possible before I try to use it. Let's just grab this page of light. 
So anytime we rest that Stafari's Light Sanctuary, we'll get an extra one of those. And we're also going to turn one of these. And, you know what, let's get the Cloth of Blessing. Okay. So now, if we go here, you can see over there we've got a bunch of items, and they have a little symbol next to them. We've got to equip this stuff. You'll see we have this, and this. And they have the Devar's Light icon next to them, because we only get the move with Devar's Light Sanctuaries. And if we go talk to this guy, he should sell us some more prayers now. So now he'll sell us Divine Armor, which is what we're going to get. But he also sells, let's see, so that... Okay, Rapidly Regain Samurai. Ooh, that actually sounds pretty good, but we can't only afford one right now. That reduces wounding, which is the maximum health decrease. Gives us some more health. Um, I hear this one actually does not light up the area very well, so we're not going to get that. Uh, that removes poisoning, which is really great, but we can't afford it. So we're going to get Divine Armor right now. And we're going to say Done. And what we're going to do next, we're going to test our... We're going to test our... Uh, test our prayers. Let's see how much damage we deal. I think this got to not be blocking. Or at least maybe they got behind it. Okay, so we hit him for 22. I think they got for 22. Okay. So he's blessed button. Now let's go increase our wisdom. And dream skill. Oh, actually, hold on. Let's not do that yet. Because we want to test, uh, want to test divine armor as well. Okay. So we're gonna get hit first, just to see how much damage we take. Just took 21 damage. Okay. So we're gonna use divine armor. I'll let him hit us again. So now we take 11. Which is about half as much, which is actually really good. Okay, so now we're gonna have the tree of skill. And we're gonna get extra wisdom. And we're gonna see how, how that impacts our prayer. If it does at all. It may we, he may do so little damage that it just doesn't show up. So hit me again, dude. Come on, hit me. Just hit me. Okay, so he still only does eleven. Yeah, it's probably we probably can't tell because his damage is so low. We may need to test on different enemy. Says so 28 damage. Again, our damage may not be high enough to really test this. Just kill all these guys, because we can. Those guys with the axes over there are pretty dangerous. We're gonna try to avoid them probably. Okay. I was hoping to get enough salt to level up. Yeah, we always 
music a lot this damage. Yeah, I don't think I can even dodge in the corner. Wow. Nice. Nice. Plus weapon this time. Let's see if we can squeeze that in here real quick. If he's got a backup, we definitely can.